Somerset captain Jim Allenby won the toss and elected the field. Aaron Finch off the mark from the first ball, pulling Corey Anderson to the boundary. Two boundaries in the second over from Jason Roy, the first to four through mid-wicket, the second a six over long on, moves Surrey at the 20 for none from two overs. Finch followed up with two fours and a huge six into the Peter May stand to move Surrey on the 36 for a loss of no wickets after three overs. Jason Roy then holds out to deep mid-wicket for 15 at the start of the fifth over. Stoneman off the mark then with a four through mid-off. Finch hits Max Waller's first ball down the ground for a six. He brings up his 50 after 34 balls, seven fours and two sixes. Stoneman caught at cover for eight. Finch is caught at long on for 61 with Surrey on 99. Rory Burns caught for five off the ball of Max Waller. Sam Curran hits 16 off just four balls in the 14th over. Dom Sibley caught at deep square leg from the bowling yet again of Vandermeer for seven. Curran continues his clean hitting with two consecutive fours at the end of the 16th over. Ollie Pope hits his first boundary on the second ball of the 18th over. He then hits three fours and three balls at the end of the 19th, starting with a delightful scoop. Tom Curran caught on the final ball of the innings for eight, and Surrey ends on a healthy and respectable 181 for seven, with Pope 25 not out. Dernbach has Allenby caught its slip on just the third ball of his first over. And what a start, Hendrith then caught behind on his first ball and Somerset on one for two. Somerset stabilised, Stephen Davis and Trigo at the crease. But Tom Curran has Davies LBW for 15 midway through his first over from the pavilion end. Dom Sibley takes a catch at short fine leg as host flashes at Rampal's bouncer and Somerset buying in trouble 33 for 4. Tom Curran then bowls Peter Trigo and he's got figures of 2 for 2 after his first two overs. Sam Curran comes back on this time from the pavilion end and gets Vandermeer's LBW from the fifth ball of his third over. Anderson hits a 6 and a 4 off the first over from Borthwick. He's also caught off a no ball in the Borthwick over. Sibley then finds himself hit for a four and a six in the next over. But Gregory caught in the deep by Stoneman off the bowling of Ram Paul, Somerset, 82 for seven. Sam Curran's full delivery here is sent high by Overton and Stoneman is the man underneath it once again. Somerset, 106 for 7 in the 15th over. A partnership of 69 follows between Anderson and Davy, but here is the key part to an epic end of this match. 12 penalty runs for a slow over rate from Surrey, which made it a heck of a lot closer. Somerset need 12 from the final over. Then here we go, he hits the third ball straight the long on and attempts to come back for a second run, but Fences throw too accurate and he's run out for 80 from 45 balls with a side needing seven to win from three. So here we go, the final delivery of the match. Six to win for Somerset, but it's a dot ball. He ends with figures of two for 23 and Surrey win at the Kia Oval. Two wins from two as they march on the Lords.